All right, guys. Last time we left off, and actually, I can't even do that this time. It's been a long time since I've recorded anything for Fallout, uh, and part of that's my fault. College and stuff. It caught up to me. Should have been uploading stuff. Just now, got some stuff set so it can upload. So now it's time that we show you what I've been doing in me off time. Cause see, I actually do have. Stupid airplane. I actually do have another playthrough going on uh, for myself, my own personal one, and it's actually made me do some changes. Um, but before we get into the changes for the character, let's get into the changes of his house. House is much bigger now. At the third floor, uh, it's no longer just the um, barren wasteland it used to be. It's a little bit more homey. You know, we, we, we have an actual fleshed out kitchen area, kind of. We have our actual cooking, and then we have where our drinks are going to go. We have where other things are going to go, blah, 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 blah. Actually, just thought about something. In our bathroom, we need to have our storage container for our drugs. Furniture. Container first aid. Where's the first aid kit? This one was a first aid kit. Huh. This one that was one of them. Anyway. Aw. I want to put it on the bathroom. Okay. Well. Guess we'll just have a toolbox. Close enough. Anyway. So. We have our kitchen area. We have the living room area. We have the dining area with picture chandelier. Picture of a guy with a cane. Just because he looks so damper. Uh, upstairs, we have our crafting like it used to be. But we have it split off to more of a more comfortable, you know, chilling area. It's not 100% finished now by no means. But then we have upstairs, we have the upper area we have our personal bedroom chill area with fancy stuff we have the bedroom area part with dressers and stuff it's not done yet uh settler get out of my house they only have a kind of like balcony i don't have the uh picket fences thing to build fences yet but we have this type of area so we can get to the uh, top of it where our power is four different pylons all in the four corners of the house. Probably want to go to the center eventually. That's connected to a small generator. And then another small generator. A uh, little bit more quiet. But once you're far enough away from them. You really can't hear any of them. The biggest addition that we have. Is hopefully it still works. But we'll see. We have quite a few water purifiers. Because uh, I was watching some other stuff Because I was just checking out which settlements I would be using to further My ambitions For my private playthrough And then I saw how much it will, how like Some of them, like Spectacle Island is one that I'm going to get um, But there are so many Different um, Decent settlements Yeah, sure So I have one, two, three, four Five, six, at least seven to eight water purifiers. These will all build me a lot of purified water, which will pop up in the settlement building, I mean, settlement workshop, at which I can take out and then sell. And that'll be a good way to make a lot of caps. This character, if we look at our perks, he has a fair bit into charisma, actually. Uh. And we have six charisma. Well, yeah, six charisma. So out of ten, so we the second highest thing we have in sec, uh, next to intelligence. Uh, and so the next things I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna get now, because I'm changing up. I found that the other playthrough I could build more stuff. It was more beneficial to me. Uh, and so now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna start doing some science. I never mess with hacker scrapper. Will be. One of the things I deal with. But gun nut. Of course medic. Medic. We got cap collectors so I can get better stuff. 
armorer because there's this thing called ballistic weave which I want and then we already have master lock pit blacksmith is last heavy gunner and then other things that are just like nice to have it's like here I got a little bit more damage dealing stuff so I have gunslinger some non-automatic pistols do more damage commando you know automatic rifles do more I got gun like riflemen with bolt action. Nah, you, you know what I'm trying to say. So that type of stuff it does more. Uh, I got more of those supposed to like the like build better stuff. And there's many different ways to do it, but that's what we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna look up how to do the freedom trail. I'm gonna look up how to follow the freedom trail because I, I I have a very hard time following the freedom trail. Um, but we have quite a few things that we can do in terms of, well, maps that's been discovered. But what we're going to do is actually, we're going to fast travel here. We're going to do this. This is what we're going to do first. But there are a lot of different things we can do now, especially on this character. He's a little bit further back. My my current character for my personal playtime is like a level 25. But his house is bigger. And that's one thing that I am... After watching, like, I never thought to build the house with concrete. I never thought to build the walls and all that stuff of the house out of foundation. And to me, that looks a lot better than what I have. Um, it really, really does. And with that being said, since it looks so much better, we'll deal with that later. Um, we'll go back and deal with the police station stuff. Taking point. This. There we go. Uh, so over here is nothing but Meyer works, basically. Nothing but Meyer works. Um, and that is the one enemy in this game that I hate. Preston, you want to kill the hatchlings? I need you to kill stuff, Preston. 